Uh, hi, my name is Sage. Um, a couple years ago, my wife and I decided to have another kid, and to do that, we really needed a little bit more space. So we had the idea of possibly taking our master suite, uh, converting that into two bedrooms and a bath. We talked to a number of contractors, um, and we decided to go with Mike at MDM Construction because he really offered us the best floor plan um, and the best uh, accessibility in terms of being able to get access to the house while he worked. Um, something that was key for us is that our family would be able to still live in the house while the work was being done. So um, on the first day, Mike put up a wall basically from right here to this corner right here. And the wall separated the rest of the living house with the work that his crew was doing. It allowed us to have access to part of our family room and of course for the kids and myself, the TV, which was nice, um, and the kitchen while the work was being done back here in the master suite. So I'm standing here in the hallway between my daughter's room and my son's room. This used to be the entranceway to our master suite. Um, behind me actually was where my dresser was. It's now the bathroom. So to my left is Chase's bedroom, our 16 month old. This used to be where the bed was in my wife's dresser. This whole area was living space. We decided, you know, with Mike's help of course, that we could probably put a smaller bedroom there a uh, decent sized bathroom and uh, replace the bathroom that we did have, which was quite large, with a bedroom that was now my oldest daughter's. So the nice thing about, about this room is you get a lot of light and it has access to the backyard. So my wife and I actually think that Tay, our oldest daughter, has the best room. We spoke with a number of contractors who were very reluctant to tear up an existing bathroom and to make it a bedroom. What was nice about Mike is he offered us a really good solution. So I'm standing in Chase's room. Uh, this was our son's room, he's 16 months old. This used to actually be part of our old master's suite. Um, and we were able to keep the window, Mike put in a closet, and um, it was actually a really interesting fit because we needed a closet in here, but we also needed space for the door, so he was able to get some, uh, to maximize the, the usable space in here for that. So I'm standing in Tay's bedroom. Tay's our oldest daughter. Um, this used to be the master's bathroom for our suite. Uh, in fact, we used to have a large walk-in shower here and a bathtub here. Right here was a large vanity and mirror and the entrance to our walk-in closet coming this way. We were a little confused as to how we'd be able to fit a closet into this room because um, Tay needed a closet. And if we put one right here, which is where we originally thought of, it would not leave us with much livable space. So Mike at MDM Construction had a good idea to put a closet underneath the stair. And at first we thought that there really wouldn't be much space, but it turns out that he was able to fit a decent sized closet there. Some of the things that Maria and I like the most about Mike is his ability to communicate. He's accessible by text message, by email, by phone. Um, and that's really important. My wife and I both work and communicating by email is incredibly important. We email documents and plans to each other. If one of us has an idea, you know, we'll bounce it off Mike and he'll reply very fast and say if we can do it or if we can't. Uh, so this is this uh, new staircase that goes up to our new master suite that Mike and MDM Construction put in. So this is the master suite that Mike and MDM Construction built. Um, you can see that we have nine foot ceilings, which when we were in the middle of construction, actually the framing part, um, I realized that our old master suite had seven foot ceilings, which was fine for downstairs, but um, on a whim I kind of asked Mike offhand, hey, can we make them nine foot? Um, and he was easily able to do that. So one thing that my, Maria and I really wanted to do is, you know, our kids will be older in a few years and they're going to want to basically hang out downstairs or hang out with their friends. We wanted a place that we could close off um, my wife, can. she's a teacher, she could grade her papers, you know, we can read, um, we could watch a movie up here. Um, and this allowed us to do it with the layout of the room, which is, you know, we have a couch and the TV area and the bed and the dressers over here. So this is the master bathroom. Um, you know, I mentioned previously that we had a large bathroom downstairs. I wanted to kind of retain that same size. Um, we also, I have a rain shower, which was very important to me. And then my wife has uh, jets with the bathtub. So one thing that my wife and I were thinking, um, and this was based on what we had downstairs, was in the winter time, it was a little bit dark in the bedroom with the bathroom. So uh, Mike suggested maybe we put in some windows, some without cutouts that would help shine light into the bedroom and the bathroom. 
So when we were building out the bathroom, we had a, a wall here and Mike and I were talking and we realized that this we could kind of do cutouts here and match what we had at the foot of the stairs for, uh, you could display towels, but we display kids art and pictures and that type of thing. At the foot of the stairs, we have something very similar to that. So when we were doing the framing and setup, we realized that we kind of had a, a, a conundrum here in terms of figuring out how we could have access to the walk-in closet, have access to the bedroom, and not have a bunch of swinging doors. And so Mike suggested pocket doors, which work out really well. For here, what we're really happy about is the pocket door has this frosted glass, again, helping light come in and out. So um, right here we have the walk-in closet, which we have access from the bathroom or if we need to from the bedroom, which is very easy to get to. So it's been a, about a year and a half, two years since we finished our work um, and we couldn't be happier with Mike and MDM Construction. People ask us if we would recommend him, which we have, we do. Um, our neighbor has just finished a remodel of their home and I've recommended him to other friends and family in the neighborhood. Early on in the process, he printed out kind of a, a timeline of what we can expect to be done and when it will be done and everything was met in a very timely fashion. Um, in fact, we, we finished a couple of weeks um, under schedule and we couldn't be happier.